Welcome back and to continue talking about the avenue of the sphinxes and all the uh, important uh, uh, developments and the reopening of the Avenue of the Sphinxes today is such a great event. Uh, still, uh, we have over the phone uh, Dr. Tariq Taufi, Vice President of the International Society of Archaeologists. Hello. Hello. Good, Good morning, morning, Doctor. Pleasure. So I was just talking about um, all what uh, happened, all the developments that took place, and um, I'd like to hear from you more about it. Uh, what do you think of the fact that I was saying that archaeological sites and historical sites in Egypt is our competitive advantage when it comes to the tourism product, and this can never be compared to any other place on Earth. So talking about this and talking about the rebranding of Luxor and attracting more tourism, especially uh, for the archaeological sites. How do you see this? Uh, of course, uh, what you're saying is uh, totally correct. And uh, Egypt uh, is today uh, really adding uh, something new to uh, the already uh, magnificent uh, treasures that we have in uh, Luxor uh, and in uh, Upper Egypt in general. So uh, today, uh, for the first time since uh, hundreds of years, the uh, avenue of uh, sphinxes between the Luxor and the Karnak temples uh, will be uh, reopened, and uh, visitors from all around the world will be able to enjoy this huge open-air museum uh, that uh, Luxor has uh, become. Uh, it's not only the Avenue of Sphinxes, but also uh, when we enter now the uh, Karnak Temple, the uh, big hypostyle hall there, uh, we see uh, how uh, fantastic the uh, Egyptian uh, conservators and uh, restorers were able to clean uh, the uh, huge columns uh, in this hypostyle hall so that uh, they are now shining in their original colors. So uh, Luxor uh, is uh, really appearing in a totally new uh, look, a totally new uh, way. So uh, even those who have visited Luxor before, uh, they will, uh, or they are really uh, welcome to uh, come again. They will see and have a totally different uh, experience. Uh, Luxor uh, really uh, is one of the richest archaeological sites in the whole world and um, due to the uh, huge uh, investments and huge efforts of uh, the Egyptian state and his uh, its president, uh, this uh, site now is really uh, a place where you will not only be informed but you will have uh, a very enjoyable uh, visit, you will have the time of your life. Well, of course, talking also about um, Luxor today and all the important sites uh, when we visit Luxor uh, starting from today, because um, usually it is very, very interesting when you move into a place, and I always describe it as, as if you are traveling through time. How interesting it is when you are moving in an area and you just imagine and think how ancient Egyptians used to live in the same place and uh, their routine life, their daily life, the lifestyle of ancient Egyptians. You are, you are standing in the same place. And just as you mentioned, we all know that all these places still are the same. Even the colors of uh, the temples, uh, everything actually that stands and lives for thousands of years, uh, as if they have just been some years ago. Um, this is exactly what uh, we are aiming for. Uh, the uh, Minister of Antiquities, Khaled Laneni, uh, is very keen on uh, joining two things. The uh, ancient uh, Egyptian flair of Luxor, and uh, providing modern uh, touristic services uh, for uh, the visitors of the place so uh, that during the day you can live between the uh, ancient Egyptian antiquities and uh, the rest of the day you can uh, enjoy the comfort of uh, modern life. So uh, this is uh, modern Luxor. This is uh, Luxor as you have never seen it before. 
Right, and talking about other important places in Luxor as well, because just as you mentioned, it is not only about the Avenue of the Sphinxes, but actually uh, we were very much attracted to, um, to this uh, avenue, especially that we know also it revives the uh, Opet Festival, for example, one of the most important uh, ancient celebrations in ancient uh, Egypt. So other places as well witnessed the same developments, right? Uh, the uh, development actually was for uh, Luxor uh, as a whole. Uh, the uh, branding uh, that uh, President Sisi uh, had uh, envisioned for uh, Luxor uh, has happened. And uh, once you arrive at the airport or at the train station or with uh, one of the uh, Nile cruisers in Luxor, you will uh, immediately uh, have this uh, feeling that you uh, arrived at a special place, uh, a place uh, that is well organized, a place that uh, provides uh, everything for your uh, comfort. So uh, it's not only uh, the Avenue of Sphinxes, uh, but uh, the work at the Karnak temples, the work on the West Bank, uh, to uh, prepare all of the sites there um, with their labels, with the uh, beautiful illumination. Uh, so uh, you have uh, a fantastic feeling in Luxor uh, during the day and also in the evening. So at the end, I can say that for those who are interested in archaeological sites and also wants to take some rest or to visit some recreational sites as well, I believe now also uh, the developments that took place in the whole sector along with the infrastructure linking uh, cities in Egypt uh, with the different routes uh, facilitates the movement of the tourist himself. For example, if you are in Luxor and you want to take some couple of days uh, to Hurghada, for example, still this is available. So you can have a really um, a vacation in Egypt where you can enjoy all factors or all uh, different items that you would like to uh, visit during one vacation or during 10 days, for example, or two weeks as usual. This is true. Uh, the uh, ways and the linkage between the uh, different recreation and uh, cultural uh, sites and highlights in Egypt has become very convenient and uh, within uh, a few hours you can move from uh, one place to another you can move from uh, history uh, as uh, you can uh, witness it uh, nowhere else uh, in the world to uh, fantastic blue sea uh, and enjoy your vacation uh, uh, diving for instance so uh, this is uh, really one of our uh, competitive edges for Egyptian tourism. Dr. Tariq Tawfiq, Vice President of the International Society of Archaeologists, thank you very much for joining us and very much true. Archaeological sites is our main competitive advantage. Where else on earth you can visit the Valley of the Kings, the Valley of the Queens, Hatshepsut Temple, the Avenue of Sphinxes, all these historical sites thousands of years ago. Well, that was all for today, and I believe that everyone will be waiting. We have a live coverage for this important event as well on Nile TV International. So uh, everyone is waiting to find out more about the reopening of the Avenue of the Sphinxes. Thank you very much for joining us.